Amanda Silver and Kim Holson were the cultist of Seattle. Amanda Silver was a graduated student in arts and history. With a quiet personality, she would pass between the cracks of society and ended up meeting Kim Holson, an expiring actress who until that point had only starred in student projects. They started hanging out a lot. When Amanda finished university, they moved in together in Seattle, the family of Amanda. Noticed that Amanda stopped visiting and when visited looked with a cold gaze where once stood a set of caring eyes. The neighbors of Amanda and Kim would complain of hearing steps in their backyard and leaving human footprints. One neighbor told authorities that had seen one of the girls standing in front of his house and looking at his window. On the night of 28 of November, Mr. Jameson had been drinking and would go to the front door of the girl's house and would scream and knock on the door without no one answering. The door proceeded to open and unveiling an empty house, the police were called after Mr. Jameson had entered and found jars of urine, dead animals, and broken televisions. The authorities found strange drawings on the walls. It looked like a circle with a lamp crossed, and would found also among books of the occult, old paintings of a female entity. Days later, it spread on the news, the story of the two girls who had gone missing. Some theorize it has the work of the Illuminati. Others just accept it has drug-fueled teens causing mayhem. The strange thing was, no one knew the whereabouts of the girls. During the days after, local TV stations were continually being hijacked by TV pirates, who put for the whole night a missing persons photo of Kim and Amanda. For a whole year, nobody knew who were the perpetrators of the continuous hijacking until he was finally caught by the police. Why did you do it? They have inspired men all around the world to create magnificent art. Our muses need to be found and returned to us. The story wouldn't have come to an end until recently. In the woods nearby, the bodies of the girls were found with only their hands sticking out of the dirt. When the bodies were retrieved, the girls were naked with drawings on their bodies and dirt in their lungs. The coroner released the death has suffocation. Man all around the world would go to the graves and leave flowers. These girls left a profound mark on our world by inspiring man to the world of arts. <laughs>